So I, so Rep, I, I understand where you're coming from, but since we're going to talk a little history, um, I was part of that history. If the government really cared, Mr. Chairman and members of this committee and all of you sitting out there back in 1979, they would have did something then. They did not. It appears that there's a group of people being victimized upon what's going on in this country today. Uh, Rep. Corvese, I just have an issue with the word sanctuary city. Uh, it's being, that word, there has no real definition. It's being blown up all over the place. And it would mean that, that this city, as you know, I'm politically prejudiced, Doc, when it comes to Providence, uh, that, you know, we do our due diligence when it comes to enforcing all laws. So to, to put Providence, well, you did not. But to have this defin this word come out without no real definition until we hear from the mayor, then maybe we know where we stand. So I, I, I suggest that we be careful with that word because there's a lot of emotions that's going to fly, in, like you just said, in these cameras and out in that hallway. Representative Corvese? If I may, Representative Almeida does bring a very good point up. And I believe if you notice, if you look at the language of the bill, the term sanctuary city is not in the bill. Because Representative Almeida and some of my, uh, some of our, uh, our um, uh, members of Le Ledge Council have also pointed out that, to the best of my knowledge, there's not a true legal definition for sanctuary city. When I mention sanctuary city, I'm saying it in the context of, of, of um, explanation of what the bill would be to uh, someone who uh, it does not read the content of the bill or looking at the actual legal language. There is no definition, but what this applies to with what the media would, would, um, what the media would um, uh, point out would be a sanctuary city. And you're right, Doc, but we're not going to, I mean, Representative. Oh, go crazy. ahead. You can call me anything you want, just don't call me late for dinner. I, just, I hear what you're saying, but the word is out there. It's just some words, some definitions we can't use. You know, because of the fact, hear me out, my brother, because of the fact of what the media wants to take and twist and turn around and target my city with this particular word, sanctuary city. So I have to be, in fact, if there is no, no legal definition, if there is no real definition of what it is, then what are we looking at? So we need to take emotion out of this bill and come with the law if, if in fact, that's what you're saying, that you, the explanation of your bill. That's what I'm looking at, and that, and I'm looking at the emotions of people that's out in the hallway that are concerned. Where there's human nature, there'll always be emotion, and you can't control it. Oh, I know. I do not, I do not uh, countenance uh, political correct correctness. Okay, I never have. I use terms that are not politically correct. And with all due respect, sanctuary city, if it's going to uh, engender some emotion in certain populations, then so be it. The bill itself does not mention sanctuary cities, but it does seek to remedy what seems to be a problem that is associated with the term in the media, the media-created term of sanctuary cities. Correct. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Doc. When it came to plantations, you came my way. Yeah, and right, That Joe. in itself affected certain people and, of the skin and, I'm in, and, but and, it may and, not affect this here. Well, let me say this. You actually changed my mind that night, and that's very difficult to do, Joe. And there's a shot I got That's for very difficult. Or there's a shot. I was ready to vote against that bill, and I got up and I supported it because you had a responsibility to your people. When I say people, I'm talking about the people you represent in your district. Correct. As I have a, as I have a responsibility Absolutely. to represent my people. And, and that being said and done, whether it be plantations or the word sanctuary city, we both know how emotion still came out as I presented on the floor, as it will be at some point. That is correct. So I'm just saying, don't go with the media, Doc. Go with us. How's that? Thank you, Representative Almeida. You're welcome.